How's it going, day walkers and fellow travelers of the night? Today's episode is gonna be about Blade again, and this time we're focusing on the video game that'll be coming out from Arcane Leon, which I am very excited about. In the last episode, we talked about Blade. I mentioned there was concept art that got out there. I know I'm like over a month late with this, for sure, I get it, uh, but I'm trying to catch up, so now that we are, Hopefully any more news that comes out for the rest of the year, I'll just do immediately and we'll be caught up. And I also wanna mention that Arcane Leon is hiring. And I know there was a lot of unfortunate layoffs recently with Microsoft and other companies and people that are out there looking for work. So I will put a link down below to the LinkedIn page for Arcane Leon. And that also has a link to their main website where they list jobs that are available. And I'll also put a link down to Dinka Bacaba's Twitter account or X account. And that's where he's posting some additional jobs that aren't listed on the website. So if you are in the video game industry and you're looking for work, definitely hit up those links down below and good luck. Hopefully you can join this wonderful team and bring this game to life. Uh, I cannot wait for this game. So there's the first image. We have Blade standing on a rooftop looking over Paris. Really, really cool. Again, this is just concept art. Most of the game is being worked on, but there's no actual graphics or anything to show of what the game might look like at this time at least. Uh, but we do have the concept art. So this is just neat, kind of giving you an idea of what they're gonna go for with it being a 3D action game and adventure game, stuff like that, and single player too. So really, really cool story driven. I cannot wait to see how they pull this off. But uh, seeing an open world type city with Paris, great location for open world. I'm wondering if Blade is gonna know any parkour or anything like that to help get him to navigate the streets. Obviously he could ride motorcycles, which he does in the movies, the Wesley Sykes movies. I'd love to see him on a motorcycle for sure. I'd love to see other Marvel cameos in this game, especially supernatural characters. That would be great. But even if we didn't get that, that's okay. As long as the focus is on Blade and it's a Blade story and he rocks and he has style and he kills vampires, I'm gonna be very, very happy. So seeing this first shot is just kind of cool because it sets the tone of, hey man, this is Blade in an open world. The world is big around him and he's just one guy. He's a one man army fighting legions of vampires. Really awesome, I cannot wait. Just makes me think of like, not even Resident Evil, but like uh, Left 4 Dead where there's just hordes of things coming at you. That would be really cool if they do you know, some levels like that in this game where you just like feel overwhelmed and you have to just go crazy. That would be fantastic. Uh, but then we also have the second shot here with Blade in an alleyway and he's kind of sneaking up on a club entrance. So they're gonna clearly play up that, which is, I love that they did in the movies where you know vampires hang out at nightclubs and go to these like hot spots around town when the sun sets and they have these different clans of vampires and different families and bloodlines. And so it kind of reminds me of the, the movies in that regard. And some of the comics did that for sure, but mostly a lot of that came from the movies. And I really dig that. That's one of the aspects of the movie that I thought brought it into a more real world setting. And uh, normally I don't like when things are real world and when things are grounded, but for Blade it works because it's just, hey, it's humans and vampires. And it's like, okay, that's not too much of a stretch sometimes. Uh, but Blade does exist in a world of superheroes. So it'll be really interesting how they tackle that topic if they do in this game where it's a world of superheroes and now they're finding out there's vampires around too. Could be interesting. And uh, and I'm kind of curious to see how Blade ends up in Paris and if the Whistler's gonna be there and who's gonna be working with him. I'm really excited to see that too. Last up, we have Blade in a subway and this is really cool because the shot of it is from the subway train and it's looking through the window and there's vampires in the foreground looking out and seeing Blade killing vampires in the subway. So that's really neat. That would be cool if they have really cool camera angles like that with like Resident Evil style where they have the fixed cameras or if they'll do things where it's just like the camera's moving around Resident Evil style and you get cool angles like that. Obviously this is just concept art so that may not happen. The camera's probably just gonna be fixed behind you moving like that but it would be cool to see from time to time the camera move and, and give you a different angle of when you're like slicing up vampires and stuff. And I'm wondering if they're gonna turn into Ash because that was something the movies did that was visually amazing and something that the comics never really tackled too, too much. Um, of course it was in there a little, but it's really done well in the films <laughs> where they just explode into ashes. So that would be cool to see a version of that in this game too. So those are the only images we have right now. I mean, again, we're going off very little here because the studio is hard at work on this game and like I said, if you're out there and you're in the industry and you wanna be a part of this team to bring this game to life, hit those links down below and good luck. Try to get a job working for them and get this game out there on time and amazing if possible. That would be awesome. And uh, hopefully we'll hear more information soon. So until then, we'll cover some other stuff. We'll probably talk about maybe the Blade movies, the anime, things like that. Uh, we'll have a lot of Blade stuff coming up for sure. But we're gonna dive into Moon Knight for a while. So the next episode and the ones after that, will probably be Moon Knight, whether it be unboxing or reviewing the TV show, whatever it is, we're gonna have all that coming up very soon. 
Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.